Thanks for joining us for another episode of Top Cat Studio Sessions. My name is Rebecca De La Torre, and today I'm excited to have one of my colleagues in the Christian music world, especially the Catholic music director world, Craig Colson. Thanks, Rebecca. Great to be here. Thank you. you. Who do you want to, why don't you introduce your bandmates? On the drums and vocals here, this is Mr. Brad Reed, mm-hmm. and uh, on the bass, uh, Mr. J.T. Walsh. Excellent. What song do y'all want to start with? Uh, We're going to start with the title song on my new CD. It's called I Am The Way. Okay. I was just yeah. emailing him last year or last week or a few days ago and saying, 
I love this song, and I think it would be perfect for our congregation. Where can, yeah. I, where can I get it, and where can we get cool. it? Cool. Um, the publishing company is called World Library Publications in mm-hmm. Chicago, so you can go to wlpmusic.com, or you can also go to Voices as One. Dot com. Um, it's O N E Voices as one. And you can find all the links to to uh, get Craig's music or hear uh, where Craig's playing and more information about him and his music in the comments just below this YouTube video. So that's so. How long have you been uh, doing uh, music in the church? Or yeah, well, in the church, probably since my eighth grade or freshman year in high school, started okay. playing actually drums over there. So I kind of play the piano like a drummer. In, okay. in many ways. So I played the drums on the yeah. piano, I've been told. So yeah, started playing <laughs> drums uh, in high school and then kind of picked up a guitar and started playing that maybe freshman year and then piano maybe junior, senior year and kind of just... But so you so was uh, was church music what you started in or did you start doing secular music or... Yeah, pretty much church music. Um, kind of grew up just playing in the church, youth group, and and that kind of thing. So uh, mostly that's been most of my experience. And then in uh, you know in high school, I was in a few bands, playing drums, okay, and that kind of cool. thing. But yeah, so. But so when did you start playing guitar? Um, like freshman year in high school. And then piano too. Cause you're and then piano later on. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, a couple years later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But still in high school. So. Um, did you always want to be a musician growing up? Did you always want to do church music growing up? or? Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, I just, I never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing now as far as leading music in a church. Mm-hmm. I mean, I never really said, I'm going to be a music director at a church <laughs> in my, you know, sophomore year in high school or whatever. But <laughs> um, it just kind of evolved to that because of my love for the Lord and for my love for, for music. And it just kind of seemed to go you know, together and, and uh, just kind of became a, a way that I love to pray um, and lead others in, in that prayer and song, too. It's, I couldn't imagine doing anything better. <laughs> well, as a child, were you, were you uh, ever called? Did you ever sit in the pews and think, oh, I want to get involved in music? Um, well, there was a point where I played drums on the pews. Mm-hmm. So they used to do like this hallelujah and there was like, you know, and I'd be like, you know, on the pew kind of thing, you know, so that's kind of how I got my start was playing on the pew, <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. So maybe I did have this dream of doing that subliminally, but no, it wasn't something I like set out, you know, but um, I didn't really have any other aspirations to do anything else. So why not? Yeah. Well, where, <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you, were you originally from here? Originally from New York. So oh. um, kind of grew up with the, because, um, you know, when you said Catholic and a lot of people are probably going, well, I thought that's Gregorian chants and all those kind of things, you know. And, exactly. And yeah, it is part of our tradition as well. But um, so the, the music that I grew up listening to was organ and just a lot of sopranos, you know, at the top of their lungs, Ooh. like this. Yes. <laughs> there you go. You could do that much better than me. <laughs> the wobbly, uh, the wobble, the wobble as we call it. Yeah, the wobble. The original like, wobble. So yeah, you know. counting all that. Yeah, all together. <laughs> and so I kind of grew up with that. And I was like, I don't like this, you know, like that kind of thing. So I just, it didn't appeal to me. And now I have an appreciation for, you know, the organ and those kind of, you know, I've oh, seen sure. some amazing organists and all those kind of things. But just didn't really hit me as a, as a youth until I started hearing, you know, more contemporary music and, and kind of getting into that and I was like oh there's a place for you know the percussion and, and all these other instruments in but the that church. wasn't until you came out west it wasn't until I came west okay how yeah. old were you, and how, were, how old were you, were you when you came here bum, ba, dee, da, bum. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was uh, 13 13 years oh, old oh that's yeah, yeah okay so yeah Okay, so I imagine when you were eight years old, you were thinking, oh, I want to play in the church because that yes. wasn't even an opportunity for yeah, you. Yeah, with a big pot on my head, you know, like, right? no, not at all. Exactly. No, I wasn't thinking that. Okay, good. So this, so you came out here, you got exposed to well, contemporary side of Christian music yes. in, the, in the Catholic Church, mm-hmm. and that's kind of what pulled you into getting involved and right. it became, ended up being your career. Right, exactly. Very good, very good. Yeah. Very important to note that that's a a big pulling factor for people to get more involved in the church. It's not the old school, old school stuff. And you're not really going to be reaching young people with music that they can't identify with, like the old school organ and Gregorian chant and all that. Although there's a place for that. Yeah. And there is. And and I, and in my experience with young people, because I do work with young people a, a lot, you know, I think they appreciate you know, some of it and they can come to appreciate it and, and we shouldn't just throw it out. Exactly. You know, it, there's a place for it, but I think it's a good balance. I think is a good word, you know, Precisely. Um, a, a balance of it. And, you know, there's some, some, even some things in Latin, you know, we're going to do one at the end, this, mm-hmm. uh, Veni Sancti Spiritus that mm-hmm. we'll do at the end, but that's a refrain in Latin and the verses mm-hmm. in English and it, it can be relatable as well. So exactly. Mm-hmm. Cause if, when, especially when you have a form of music, the contemporary style, that's something that they can relate to and, and feels 
more like part of their generation, right. then they, that can open up the way to the older right. hymns and, and working them into part exactly. of the ministry as well. Exactly. That's great. What's another song that you can share with us? Um, well, this next one's called This Is Your Justice, and I okay. kind of wrote it for, for church, uh, the season in the church, the four weeks before Christmas, we have Advent, we have That's the Ad- right. Advent wreath and all that. So um, this is kind of just about and going through those scripture readings about, you know, how God's justice is different than ours. So we would say, you know, oh, someone commits a crime, you know, kill him, you know, whatever, uh, you know, uh, so this is, but, but God's justice is, is, is the complete opposite of sometimes what we view as justice. So, um, so that's kind of where this song kind of came from. Excellent. Let's hear it.
that is great for Advent. Yeah, thank you. So where did you, do you think that is, do you see that or do you plan that to be more of a preparation song? Yeah, I've kind of used it at preparation of gifts, usually mm-hmm. first, maybe in a second communion kind of thing. Okay. And then maybe by the last week of Advent, maybe even moving it to the gathering song or that kind okay. of thing. There's a, for the church people out there, there's also a, a penitential rite that goes along with that. So, um, you know, That's right. you play it, you know, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Yeah, so, that's right. I heard that yeah. on the recording yeah. on their CD. So. Excellent. Good. So nice. So this is, this is your latest project. This is from... I am the way. Mm-hmm. And when was that released? Um, ooh, I don't know the exact date. A couple years ago. It's been about two years that mm-hmm. came out. So, But you have a new project that you're working on right now. I do. And it's not going to be an actual CD. It'll be more of a digital download. But um, one of the things that we, uh, my wife and I write music together um, and um, sing together and that nice. kind of thing. Um, yeah. And so one of the things we do is write responsorial psalms that mm-hmm. are the actual text from the scriptures that we use at Mass. So there's a lot of them that are, are written that are either paraphrased, yes. um, kind yeah. of, you know, um, like God's word and then with our own poetry kind of written into it Mm -hmm. and then there's some that are more kind of that chant we were talking about so you know where it's kind of the and and this one's a chant as well but a more contemporary kind of chant but so we write more modern the next couple we're going to do are from the psalms and more modern kind of contemporary versions of are both of them from your next from your next release Um, the one we're going to do right now Mm -hmm. um, in every age of lord is 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 with wlp and that'll be on the new uh collection that'll be uh, available online at those websites we mentioned okay and so the same they can find those as soon as it's released they can find those the links that'll be on the YouTube comments below. Yeah. I do have to make, I do have to have my little complaint here. <laughs> okay, so the, I can understand why they would want to paraphrase a lot of stuff because some of the stuff is like, you kept me from going down into the pit. The netherworld. Right? Yeah, yes. I know. And these are not words that we yes. use today, so I can understand yeah. why they did. But yeah. the, to me, the worst and my oh, when I, I when I see it, I just want to cringe. Is when they took blessed and they replaced blessed with happy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know if some people that are watching this are offended because that's how you did it. That was yeah. fine back in the day, but like, why? Yeah. I don't get it. Or like the most popular one, which is a beautiful song, you know, the Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. Yes. And it's shepherd me, O God, beyond my fears, beyond my wants. And it's a beautiful song. But oh, it's, that's a great one. Yeah. It's a great song. I mean, it's beautiful, but for the psalm response, it's it's paraphrased. Exactly. So. Exactly. That's one of the most popular yeah. ones, though. Yeah. But we can just put that in as preparation and then use another song for the exactly. actual song. One of these. Why not? <laughs> Precisely. So what is this next one that you're going to do? So this one is Psalm uh, 90 from Psalm 90. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Excellent.
there were only two verses on there. And I'm sure the psalm has yeah. more, but you're just showing, you're just giving a little exactly. teaser. Okay. Exactly. Okay, yeah. cool. Exactly. So, the, so the one that, when this is released, they'll be like all the verses, whatever it is. They'll have them. all the verses and, and they'll either, they'll always be on the sheet music mm -hmm. and usually we'll do kind of what we just do. We'll record a couple of verses unless there's a verse that's different. That's ex we'll exceptionally always, different. Yeah. Right, to model that, how it goes kind of thing. Okay. You know, so, yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah. So you said there's another song that you're going to be doing too. There's another song. This next one, uh, which I'm going to jump to the guitar um, and have okay. you. Can you play a little piano? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, my soul is thirsting. Psalm 63. And, Psalm um, 63. My soul is thirsting. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. And so yeah, another beautiful, beautiful text and and setting of this and kind of more of a guitar thing. So okay, cool. Switch it off. Now we haven't uh, run this one yet, so. See, what do you uh, do you want me to just kind of fill in on the piano here a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I think that'd be great. Where it's do kind you of want... more guitar driven, so if you want yeah. to just lay in some colors and Yeah, okay, perfect. So just uh just would you want to come in right after you when when do you want the piano to come in on this one? You know, whenever your little heart's delight, <laughs> I think you're gonna be just wonderful. And we're just doing three verses of this one, although there are four on here. Yeah, so we'll do the third verse on this one because it's kind of written as a bridge. Okay. So it's different. But oh, the, yeah, fourth, the fourth one is just like verse one and two. So. Similar form to yeah. verse one and two. Okay, great. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you my flesh pines, and my soul thirsts. Like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. Have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory? For your kindness is a greater good than life. thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name as with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied with exalted lips my mouth shall praise you For you, O oh Lord my God, my soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God, my soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God, my soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. Cool. I've never played the 
that before. This was cool. great. I was cyber Nana and I hadn't heard it because I, I, he sent me the recording yesterday yeah. and I didn't get a chance to listen to it because I looked real quick and I thought, oh yeah, I've listened listening to the CD. I know yeah. all these songs. I've been listening to the CD for a couple of weeks. And then, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I realized, oh. No, I you're great. This, this one. one's on another <laughs> another CD called Fill Us, Fill Us With Your Love. Fill Us With yeah. Your Love. Okay, no, well, is that, are the links that we already mentioned um, going to leave go on them? iTunes and get it. You oh, know, okay. If you, if, if you like the music you're hearing, you could just type in our name on iTunes. It's like a shameless <laughs> plug, but yeah, so. Um, no, that's what this is yeah. for. Hey, this is what this is for. So go to iTunes and get it right now. Craig Colson, My Soul that's is right. Thirsting. Yeah, there you go. Can they buy it directly from you and so that Apple doesn't get its 60% cut? No. It's a 60% yeah. cut. Oh. Apple. I do like the iPhone, though. I do. I do, too. That's my favorite. We all have iPads. And the iPad. And, we yeah. should get an endorsement from Apple here. We should. And the MacBook Pro. Yeah, all those things. I, so. That's right. This is an Apple studio. Yeah. Apple. That's right. But they take all our music money away from <laughs> us. <laughs> so. Sales are down anyway. It's like yeah. it's all streaming. You know, exactly. it's all streaming these days. Goodness. Yeah, I have a 16-year-old daughter. She doesn't buy any music she just has this youtube thing and just listens to it and it's like uh, youtube's another thing yeah. and then nobody gets paid there no it's like crazy <laughs> yeah. it's crazy although that with this show is on youtube but thankfully you know you have the rights to all your songs and you're going to let us put them online exactly <laughs> but don't if you get a bunch of hits then you get some money if you do, right yeah after so, after like 6 or 7 million views you'll probably get a, you know a couple thousand bucks so if you're out there <laughs> share this with 6 or 7 million people so rebecca can feed her family <laughs> I'm so poor. I have my own recording studio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that might not have been a good plug. No, it's all good. <laughs> We're having a good time. And again, this is Craig Coulson. We got JT on the bass and Brad on the drums. You guys sound tight. And you know what's really cool? Brad is singing. How many <laughs> singing drummers do we have? And yeah. like really singing. You know, it's really nice, dude. You sound awesome. Thank you. Let's do another one. This is so fun. Let's do it. Well, this next one's called Faith Enough to Believe. Um, Co-wrote this one with my wife, and this is for, um, we work a lot with high school teams. Your wife who is? My wife who is Kristen. Hi, Kristen Colson out there. Thanks for letting us borrow him for Yay. today. In YouTube land, she's like, she'll be like, take him, take him the whole day. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, yeah, and hi, Kayla and Matthew. They'll love that I did that. They'll never watch this. Anyway. Um, <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, so we wrote this together for one of the retreats that we did with uh, teenagers, high school teens, through awesome. a program okay. called Life Teen. Oh, yeah. Life Teen, of course. Yeah. Exactly. We'll have to talk a little bit about Life Teen yeah. after this song. Let's do that. So this is Faith Enough to Believe. i 
perfectly i i, I did <laughs> i did my best because i was like oh am i on the right measure here oh okay good i'm glad that worked out yeah very cool. cool good 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 um this is like really nice i like how i like how well the songs are arranged and thought out and and everything and it's just this is really just very thoughtful music that sounds good and has really good words a lot of times what i what i've found and let me let me see if you think the same because you mentioned Life Teen, and this is kind of part of I think the mission in Life Teen is to connect with young with teens, you know, at their at their level, yeah. and that means it needs to have something that sounds like like it's theirs. Right. So it sounds like it's from their generation and not from like the '60s or the '70s, right? right. I mean, not that right. the '60s or '70s are bad. But no, but yeah, you're mean. So you're meeting kids at where they're at today and kind of bringing them along. And some people have a criticism of that because it's like, well, this is the church and they should just learn the way it is. But, you know, <laughs> but I think if you look around, you know, and you go, well, we're losing a lot of our kids, a lot of our young people. And where are they? They're either at, you know, some other church other than the one they used to go to or whatever, you know, denomination it is. And we're losing them or whatever. And then we're just losing them to, uh, to atheism and all these other things that are going exactly. on, you know. And so we have to try and do our best to meet them where they're at and and bring them bring them along you have to meet people jesus met people where they were at he exactly. didn't go around judging everybody and you know he went up to the sinful people and 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 hung out with them the the prostitutes and the tax collectors and so you know amen he didn't sit in the synagogue and say oh they, they should come to me this yeah. is i'm in the temple yeah so exactly. maybe some of those people could take a hint and uh realize that they're part of the problem yeah you know which is what's so great about this great music yeah. is this it and and what i was gonna say is a lot of the um, contemporary music of today is, although it can be beautiful for meditation, it's not very um, theologically rich. Right. And this is nice. This is nice. It still uses words that we can all understand. Right. But it's also much richer than than just right. praise Jesus, praise Jesus, praise Jesus. Right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. And I think there's been a big movement in in you know the christian church the catholic church overall to to kind of delve into this theology you know um like my good friend matt marr you know i mean writing oh, some yeah. of these amazing you know thing and you go where did he get that from and it's from the you know from the prayers from the mass and saint augustine and you know some of the church fathers and stuff and to kind of delve into some of that so it's exactly that's great now you're so, involved with life team yeah 
Like, like actually, like not just that you do have a Life Teen in your church, but you actually work with Life Teen, or because I there's these things called Life Teen Liturgy Planner, and I flip through them and all this, and I didn't find out because I always look to see what's their recommendations. You know, it's always get, it's always good to get good uh, ideas and recommendations for songs for each weekend, you know, from different sources. And uh, I've been using this one much more recently, and I just found out a couple weeks ago that Craig is the culprit. He's the one in charge so of sorry. picking those songs. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm I, sorry I have ruined your song selection. No. Yeah. No, it's actually been yeah. really helpful. Yeah. And I didn't even know that you did this until a couple of weeks ago. So Yeah, so I think we were talking about this the other day, and I mm -hmm. think it's been like 13 or 14 years, some crazy thing like that, where planning the, the mass every week. So we kind of get, they send us like 17 weeks of uh, Sunday masses at a time. Yes. And there's a couple other guys that I work with um, in a couple other states, and we kind of, you know, do a Google Doc and we put our suggestions together and then I kind of do the final edits and things like that. So Excellent. it's a great, you know, um, opportunity to be able to kind of, you know, share with the, the larger church, you know, those suggestions and things. So. Very good. Well, I think yeah. you're doing a good job with that. Well, so it's you. always nice to get, oh, really? You think, yeah. hey, I think that song could go there. Okay, yeah. great. Well, we already know that one. Let's plug it in. Yeah. You know, so it's good. Really good cool. there. Um, what, let's see, have we covered, have I covered all the interesting things that I wanted to make sure we talked about with you yes okay so your first instrument's drums that was very interesting yeah. and then you came from the east side and it yes. was hearing contemporary music that made you want to really yeah. be involved in music in the church so we come full circle to that yeah. which is our whole soapbox on the show today yeah i'm a pretty interesting guy no, I'm, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> There's so many interesting things about me. No, just kidding. Yeah, You're no. so great. No, that is great. So I wanted to do uh, one more tune with you, yeah. right? Yeah, and this is kind of one, um, actually, uh, in the great feast of Pentecost, the, the, church, the church celebrates the Holy Spirit. And this is actually the sequence that the church gives us these, these, this text to. So the verses of this are the sequence that we, um, we sing at Mass. And then this is where we're kind of talking about the Latin. And so this is kind of a contemporary version with a Latin refrain of the old Veni Sancte Spiritus. So come Holy Spirit. Um, and this was actually written for a Life Teen convention that we have okay. here in Phoenix every year. Um, we wrote it for the, for the Mass. So. Okay, now and I'm going to try to not screw up this intro. <laughs> but I heard I've been listening to a CD, so I've I've heard this. This is like the second one on the CD or something, isn't that right? On your CD, I am the it's way. It's the, the first one. Oh, it's the yeah. first one. I am the yeah. way is the second one. I am the way is the second okay, one. Okay, because those first two were the ones I'm like, I need to use these songs for sure at church. Okay. Yeah, and my but you know who played on this was mm -hmm. my buddy Carl Hergesell, who played with Kenny Loggins. Oh, okay. So I've so got no big pressure. shoes to fill. <laughs> <laughs> big shoes to fill. Okay, so if I screwed up, it's awesome. my fault. This has nothing to do with the quality of this music. Awesome. Right? You mean? <laughs> that's exactly oh, sorry. it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Sorry, oh. I had to, had to throw that in. Yeah, that's awesome. You have to teach me how to do that, by the way. We'll have to do that, yeah. Yes, yeah. it'll be fun. We will, we will. Okay, awesome. so you count it off.
most blessed light divine shine within these hearts of thine and our inmost being filled funny if we have time for a yeah, quick one of course. so this is kind of funny because um we wrote this and you know as a musician you have like a certain meter and you're like okay eight bars you know yeah, 12 yeah, bars yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. so this text on the third verse is a little bit longer and when i was writing it for the initial time i was kind of like oh how am i going to make the chart for the musicians it was like a few days before so i just we kind of left them out and i told the guys and then i forgot when i recorded it to add in the other words oh. so we had the <laughs> whole recording done the whole thing was done the studio everything and then they send it to the U.S. bishops, like Catholic bishops council. They have this lady there, right? Oh, and of she, course. And she reads through it. And she's like, well, it's missing these two lines, right? You know, and I was like, oh. And I go, oh, snap. You know, like, I <laughs> What'd forgot. you do? So we went in and edited the recording and added in those two lines. Oh, good. Right? And, and got it back on there. So on the recording, it's like four bars longer on the third verse. But, that's funny. But, yeah. Okay, so, okay. So anyway, so that's why on the music, yeah. No, this is great. Yeah. This is Top Cat Studio Sessions. It's been a pleasure to have Craig Colson and his band. Go ahead and introduce your musicians one last yeah, time. Yeah, drums and vocals, Mr. Brad Reed. Woo! Good man. Yeah. All right. And Mr. J.T. Walsh Ooh, on the bass. Walsh. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much for being on the show, Craig. I'm Rebecca Dolatory. Have a great night. Yeah.